Hi. A lot of people tell me they would like to make a sweater or a top or a cardigan, but they're a little bit scared. And to be honest, I don't know why. There's nothing to be scared of. It's kind of easy, really. If you can make a chain, if you can crochet a single crochet, a double crochet, and if you can count, well, believe me, you can make a sweater with no problem at all. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we're gonna do it. I've chosen this particular piece because it's easy, it works up fast, and um, it doesn't eat up very much yarn either. So get your hooks out and let's get started on the Go With The Flow Bolero. Okay, so when we start to make a sweater, or in this case, a cardigan bolero, we start, of course, with a chain, and I start with the back panel. I always like to start with the back panel. That's the biggest piece of the, uh, of the garment. Um, for this particular uh, bolero, I'm using the stitch that I'm going to show you. It's a fun stitch. It's an easy stitch. It's a playful stitch, but it's a very uh, nice stitch. Okay, we have our chain, and we do our first single crochet in the second chain stitch from the hook. There we go, one single crochet. Now you yarn over, you skip two stitches, and in the next stitch, you make a double crochet. You chain one, make a double crochet in the exact same chain stitch, chain one, yarn over, and make another double crochet in the same stitch. You skip two stitches. In the next one, you make a single crochet, you chain three, one, two, and three, and in this stitch right here next to this one, you're making another single crochet. You have kind of made a little arch right here, you see? Now you skip two stitches again, one, two, yarn over. You make a double crochet, chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and you make your third double crochet in the same stitch. Again, one, two stitches you skip, you make a single crochet in the next stitch, you chain one, two, and three, in the next stitch you make another single crochet, so you have made that little arch again. You skip one, two, and you go for three double crochets with a chain one in between, like this. The second one, chain one, and the third double crochet. Now you can see what it's gonna be, it's going to be one, two, three double crochets with a chain one in between. Then you have a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So you have this little arch. Then you skip those two stitches and you make one, two, three double crochets with the chain one in the middle again, and so, etc., etc. I'll do one more and then I'll meet you at the end of the row. So you, you skip two chain stitches, you make a single crochet, one, two, three, right here, you make your another single crochet. I'll meet you at the end of the row. So we're at the end of row one. We have one, two, three stitches left. We skip two, and in the very last stitch, we make a single crochet. We continue on to row two. We chain seven, four, five, six, seven chains, you turn, and in the middle of the three double crochets, you make a single crochet. These seven chain stitches, they count for one triple crochet and three chain stitches. Okay, so you've got this single crochet, you do three chain stitches, you go back in the same stitch, you make a little arch again, you see? You chain three, one, two, and three. You go to the arch, and in the arch, you make a double crochet. 
you chain three. One, two, and three. You go to the middle of the three double crochets, you do a single crochet. One, two, three chain stitches. Another single crochet in the middle of that three double crochets. You chain three. One, two, three. You make a double crochet in the arch. There you go. One, two, three. And yes, here we go again. A single crochet, chain three to make that little arch. Same spot, you make a single crochet. I'm sure you're getting the hang of it already. Very simple. Make a, a double crochet in the arch again. And I'll meet you at the end of this row two. Here we are at the end of row two. We just finished making our little arch and this is the last stitch. We're making a triple crochet in the very last stitch. So I'm doing the triple crochet like this. I'll take it out again so I can do it in slow-mo for you. You yarn over, you yarn over, you stick it in this last stitch right here, pull through, Yarn over and pull through the first two uh, loops. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So you got your triple crochet or as some people call it, your treble crochet. Now we're going to row three. You chain one and you turn. You make your very first single crochet in the treble crochet, triple crochet you just made. Here we have an arch. In the arch, we're going to make the double crochet with the chain one, double crochet with the chain one, and your third double crochet. Now we skip over here, we go to the double crochet of the previous row. You chain three. And I'm sure you're already guessing what we're making. Yes, we're making a little arch again. Here's the other arch from, row, from the row before. And in that arch, we're going to do the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and your third double crochet. Here we have the double crochet from the last row. There, we're gonna make a little arch again. So we do the single crochet, one, two, three chains, and a single crochet again. So, there you go, see? Three double crochets, arch, three double crochets, arch. So what are we gonna make in this arch? The three double crochets, one with a chain one, and, oops, another double crochet, chain one, and your third double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of row three. At the end of row three, we've got our seven chain stitches from the previous row. In the one, two, three, fourth one, we're making a single crochet. So we have our nice straight edges. I'm gonna show you row four, and after that, we're just moving on to the rest of the back panel. So we chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We turn and you can see row four is going to be exactly the same as row two. And this is what the whole pattern is like. It's a repeat of rows two and three. What did we do in row two? We did a double crochet in the arch. We chained three, one, two, and three. We went in the middle of the three double crochets. We did a single crochet with three chain stitches and a single crochet in the same stitch. We did one, two, three chain stitches, a double crochet in the arch, one, two, three chain stitches, we're making a little arch in the middle of the three double crochets of the previous row. And this is going to be 
how the whole entire bolero is going to be made. A repeat of rows two and three. I'll meet you in a little bit. Okay, <laughs> it's magic. We got, we're going to wait for a few minutes and look, the back panel is nearly done. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of the three uh, uh, double crochet pairs. And this is the very last row that we're going to do. Now we did the row with the little arches right here. And we need to get that straightened out because that's not fun to be sewing to your front panels in a little bit, then you're gonna have these little arches that are you poking out and that's just not fun. So we're gonna straighten it out. We're doing one single crochet, I mean one chain stitch and we turn. And this is what we're gonna do. We do one, two, three chain stitches. Go in the middle of the three double crochets, make a single crochet and we're going one, two, three, Again, we do a single crochet in the middle of the arch and we go one, two, three chain stitches again. We do a single crochet in the middle of the three double crochets. One, two, three. And a single crochet in the arch. One, two, three. And a single crochet in the middle of the three double crochets. One, two, three. And I'm sure you know exactly what to do. It's just a continuation of three with the single crochet, three with the single crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of this last, almost last row. We're at the end of the row. We chain three, one, two, three and in the very last stitch here you make your last single crochet now you can see that this is nice and straight now for my bolero i did four of these rows so i do one chain i turn i make a single crochet in the very first stitch i chain three one two and three i make a single crochet in the single crochet one, two, three, single crochet in the single crochet. One, two, three, single crochet in the single crochet. And I'm not going to bore you with this any longer. So I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I promised I was going to be getting back with you after row two, but I figured I'm not going to bore you because these four rows right here are all the same. They're just the single crochet at the very beginning. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, etc. And you end with three single crochets, I mean, three chains and a single crochet. And voila, your back panel is done. Okay, now you can see it's only just kind of like a rectangle or almost a square but this is your back panel and some people are going to say well how is this ever going to end up being a cardigan or in this case a bolero but trust me it will hang in there with me and you'll find out and as by magic i have already made a front panel better yet I've made two front panels. So we got two front panels. They're the same pattern. And of course, there are also 14, 14, and the four rows right here, four rows right here. So we have the back panel, the two front panels, and we're gonna start sewing these together. And how we're gonna do that is as follows. You get your back panel, right here this is your top now make sure you have a front and a back you can see right here by the double crochets that this is not the outside this is the inside 
Now, when we start sewing something together, we want to have our outsides in and our insides out. So this is your back panel. This is your outside, which are gonna, we're going to be facing inside. And we're taking one of our front panels, making sure again that we check real good to see if the outside is in and the inside is out. Okay, there we go. This one goes over here. And here we have the other one, which will go right here. Now what I do is I always start with sewing the shoulders first. Now we take a special, special needle for that. It's a nice blunt needle, thick. I like the ones with the loop so you can have your thread easily go through there. Might not need this right now, but we need this long tail that we left. And we're going to start sewing our first front panel to the back panel. Make sure it's lined up. Now, if you're not really sure that you're doing it the right way, you can also use some pins, some safety pins that are specially made for uh, yarn. I don't know if you have any of those. Okay, so I like to sew my shoulders together first. Now, if you're not really sure about what you're doing, you can also use the special pins that are made for uh, yarn products. You probably already have those at home. These are the ones I usually use. Those are the, the colorful ones right here. They don't have real sharp edges and, and, and points, so they don't ruin your material. So these you can use. I don't have to use them. I might use them later on for the sleeves, but I just want to point out to you that you can. Now, here you just go sewing your shoulders together. Very simple. You just stitch them right along from your chains. You had your chain threes, so you can just pick it up right there and sew them like this. There we go. Very easy. Don't pull too tight because then it's going to start wrinkling up. Just very smoothly, not too tight, stitch by stitch, like so. And see, it's already a very nice seam. So that's what you do for both shoulders. You just go right along the edge stitch by stitch very easily and i'll meet you when i get the shoulder at the end fixed okay i did uh, both shoulders as you can see right here and right here nice and neat sewn together this is our gap we still need so now i'm going to do the sides and when i do the sides I probably go up to about right here for right now, and then I'm going to do the sleeves. That's usually the part that most people don't like and uh, have a problem with. So we'll get there in a minute. For now, we're going to do the sides, and I'm taking the the tails that are left from the pieces that we made, and again, we just sew nicely to the sides like this. This thread right here will put will knot and sew in later on. We'll leave that all the ends in later. Same for the top ones. For now, we're just sewing the sides together. And I'm sure you know how to do that. I'm not telling you anything new. It's no rocket science. Just sew it together. Nice and neat. Lined up. I always kind of look to see if the the patterns are lined up right here, which they are. So I just continue to sew this side like this, nice and easy. Now when I run out of thread, which might be the case, I'll just 
leave it and get a little piece of extra yarn. And I'll worry about weaving it in and knotting it at the end. But for right now, I might just have enough. We'll see. Just keep sewing. I always like to check to see if it's going pretty good. Yeah, see, it's nice. It's going to be a nice seam. There we go. Now, if you have big arms, make sure you stop in time. Now, nobody has these big arms, but we'll go up a little bit further. But don't go up too far, because then you won't have room to put your sleeves in. So just a little bit further than this. Sew it together nicely. And now this is for the bolero, but this kind of is the same technique for everything. For your sweaters, for your normal cardigans, long or short, makes no difference. It's the same thing. I'm leaving this for right now. I think it's pretty cool. I only have this much left, so I need new thread anyways. And then I'm going to do this side right here. I don't have to put that on video for you. I'll just do it and I'll meet you back when I have this sewn up. Okay, so I've sewn both the shoulders and the sides right here, right here. I left this space right here. It's probably a little too big for my sleeve, but I'll fix that later. Right here, nice seam right here. Okay, so we'll put this away for right now. And we're going to get our sleeves out. Now, it just so happens, I already made two sleeves. This is the first one. And um, it's the same pattern as we did. It's a short sleeve because I wanted to make a three-quarter sleeve. I like that better on a bolero that's short. So I like it better when the sleeve is short. But some people like the sleeves longer. And uh, all you have to do to make it longer is just add rows. Um, that's not that difficult. You just keep on going. And remember what we did to get this straightened out so you won't have to end up with these arches. The same thing we did on the sleeve. We did the chain one, um, make a single crochet, and then chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, all the way across, except not for many rows, just for this one row. That's neater when you sew it into the, into the bolero. Um, with your sleeve, you just fold it in half. Make sure that, again, your outside is facing inside, like this. I have a mm, not very long tail, but I'm going to use this tail for sewing it together. And I always make sure that my patterns line up like this. See, here's where the holes are, so that's pretty neat. Then you don't have to measure or do anything. I get my big sewing needle. And... See how easy that loops through? Very nice. And we just sew the entire side of your sleeve. Now, in you, if you saw the pictures of the bolero, you probably wondered, hey, wait a minute, there was like a nice little edge right here. That's right, but I put that in there the, uh, at the very end. Just like I put the uh, border of the bolero on the sides and the bottom at the very end also. So what we do is we just nice and neat, like we've been doing, just sewing away. Dee 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 dee. Might start singing a song, sewing away, all the way to the top. And I'll meet you when it's sewn closed. We got our little bolero done. It's, uh, it turned out pretty cute, if I say so myself. It's uh, finished if you like it like this, but some people like to have buttons on it. Um, very simple, you don't need to make any buttonholes because you kind of already have the holes right here. All you need to do is sew your buttons on at the right space, and then you can just loop these holes through here, and no need to make buttonholes. Um, I like it with the uh, uh, ties, so I'm going to show you how to put the ties on. I'm going to put them right here on each side of the front panel. Um, so we got to turn this around. I also uh, use a smaller hook for this uh, because 
the big hook that we've been using is just a little too large. So for this uh, tie, I'm taking a uh, four millimeters or a G hook. We connect our thread at the very bottom, chain one, we single crochet one in the same space and we single crochet one next to it. Then we chain one, we turn, and we have double crochet in the exact same spot and we have double crochet in the very first stitch that we made like so we chain one and we have double crochet again so we have two half double crochets that's really all we need and you chain one at the end and then you have double crochet again now all you need to do for the entire tie is go all the way till you have your right length with the chain one turn half double crochet half double crochet right here chain one and then half double crochet now i'm not gonna bore you with a half double crochet and chain once all the way till the strap is long enough but um what I'm curious to know is if you like uh, the bolero without a tie, with the tie, or with the buttons rather, and uh, would you please leave that in the comments. I'm also curious if this tutorial uh, was clear to you. So I also would love to read that, your comments in the bottom uh, of this tutorial. Um, if you need more instructions like the uh, stitch count or the measurements i will refer you to my uh, web shop or to my revelry shop uh, the go with the flow bolero is on etsy with the same name by crow jennifer and uh, the go with the flow bolero is also in my revelry shop same name go with the flow bolero by crow jennifer and there you will find all the details to this pattern, your stitch count, your measurements, etc. So I will see you again at the very end of the ties that I'm making right now. Okay, now I didn't bore you with the second strap because it's basically the same as the first. I'm just finishing off my weaving in and sewing off my uh, loose ends because going out in public and having your st strands still hanging out is kind of sloppy. So we have these two uh, ties right here. They're about 60 small little short rows and then it will look like this when you tie it up. Now, if this is too long for you, nah, then you just go a little bit shorter in the rows. You make 40 rows. And if you want it longer, you can go longer. I have seen a lot of ladies that um, do it the other way too. They make it very long and they go all the way around the back and they meet again in the front and then they tie it up in the front. So they start in the front like so. I'm sure you know what I mean. They start like this, they go around the back and then when they come back around, they tie it up. One lady even made these cute little boleros for her uh, female friends and family for Christmas. Everybody got one and everybody was happy. Um, I'm going to get out of, out of this chair. I'm going to change and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have it on. And here it is. Voila. I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you liked the little bolero. I hope you enjoy making it. Thank you for watching.